Greetings, brothers and sisters. So I saw this movie, Nefarious, for free, displaying on YouTube to watch. I forgot all about this movie. I wanted to see it last year, uh, not initially, but I was hearing little things about it. Initially, I didn't want to. I didn't want to watch it. Uh, I didn't want to pay for something I wasn't sure about that could be totally Team Satan, and I really didn't do any research. My 17-year-old last year, who was 16 at the time, wanted to go and watch it. And the way he described it uh, wasn't the best sales pitch. <laughs> so I was like, absolutely not. But then I heard more uh, from my family in Christ recommending the movie to me to watch, saying it was worth the money. Uh, but I still was like, nah, I'll wait. And I came across it and uh, I watched it. And my goodness, it is so incredibly truthful. And very good, actually. You know, here you have this movie that is the essence of truth on so many levels. And I just hope that the movie resonated in a way uh, no one thinks demonic possession like that of this movie is just uh, only a, a, only on the far extreme side that that uh, that demon is in your church. You see him or her at the grocery store. Their their heads are not turning a 360 curve around, but demon is everywhere. Uh, the same demon working for its master is is not just the person in some faraway place in a dark room pinned and tied down to a bed with a priest over it trying to cast the demon out of it that demon you know legion which means a group of demons could be the pastor it could be the nice gal or guy you never think anything wrong with because legion is in every spirit of rebellion walking on two legs around you and me and it's hard to believe when you profess christ or go to a church you know you're taught you can't have a demon christians don't get possessed uh, and that's very true but churches don't teach obedience uh to christ therefore we have this jesus card that makes us stay out of hell or get us out of hell while we live or commit sin and still believe we don't give demons access to us through those sins nonetheless so real christians who are filled with the holy spirit they cannot get possessed by a demon but everyone who believes i'm not believes i'm sorry everyone who calls themselves a christian is not there are many many self-professing so-called quote-unquote christians who i know are demonically influenced and controlled so when i saw this movie i thought of people who i see every day because i discern every spirit uh and i and i i, I see the spirits in, in 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 people every day who outwardly quote-unquote are good people but then they do nasty things that's because they are under ungodly spirit and influence and possession you know whatever you're addicted to is is a demon that controls you so i hope people understood how when you are not living for christ and living for sin demons by that are invited into your temple into your body to take up residency if you believe and obey jesus no demon can possess you if you believe but don't obey demons are coming because if you're obeying god uh then that won't happen but if you're not obeying god and you're obeying the devil they're coming. Demons are coming because you obey something. Me and you obey something one way or the other. We obey spirit or we obey flesh. Especially in the last days, legion could be your neighbor, your family member, your friend, a stranger. Legion is everywhere, brothers and sisters, more or less to a less or greater degree, working right now inside of people who are worshiping daily the God of this world or the God of their flesh or the daily gods of idols they can't get enough of. When I heard the movie afterward, wasn't really for believers it was just for unbelievers which is true because if you watch it if you watch as a unbeliever or even a lukewarm you are either going to realize you're actually either the atheist or the demon which i find fascinating about the movie great seed planting through acknowledgement in it if you are a lukewarm there's no way you're not getting convicted because the doctor truly is the spiritually deaf, dumb, and blind because he is not a believer, not filled with the spirit. So he has no idea of the information he is getting that is absolute, absolute truth. And many lukewarms are serving to master. So when the movie basically calls out that, especially with the abortion bit, because there are many self-professing so-called Christians who believe in abortion, they uphold murder against what the Bible speaks towards all life. That too convicts and pricks the heart. Me being a, a Christ follower who is very familiar with demons and how they work how they operate you already know the legion uh character played by the cellmate awaiting death is about to eat this atheist guy alive legion is actually the smart 
intellect in the movie in this situation who is smarter more cunning than the than the uh deluded doctor who believes he's you know the the master degree smart guy and dodging this this dumb crazy person in front of him awaiting execution but that's real life happening today where so many think they're smarter than the devil or they believe they don't serve the devil at all he's him over there and there are them over here and when really they are in cahoots together the demons like in this movie pride themselves on our deceitfulness our own ignorance demons can't touch you nor affect you if you if you are not already giving them access to you if you are not already playing on the same team as they do and they play on and the doctor in the film thinks he is superior than than legion which he's like a fly in himself to be crushed because he's not up to spiritual par and the doctor represents so many unbelievers and lukewarms it was such a good it was such good writing too i for many years was an aspiring screenwriter uh have written many screen uh many scripts uh for many years so it kind of triggered that old lena because the writing was so very holy spirit geniusly good it had to have come from divine power through much research because everything the demon said as a believer you know it 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 it's, it's what you've been trying to convey to others also but like the doctor they're just oblivious they can't receive it they're not in truth they don't like truth the first setup i was cringing uh knowing the pride of this guy is going to get him in trouble because he's not of christ therefore he doesn't practice spirit over flesh so when the flesh is prideful he he's not going to deny it he's going to exemplify it so when he was set up to give access to the demon to enter his body so so he so the demon can prove to him he exists the demon knows he's real but you know the doctor is not buying it so he's like okay fine i give you full permission and access i was i was cringing because to me what the heck are you doing asking a demon giving him full access when you're not in christ not spiritually protected because you're an unbeliever like do he know not what he is doing like the pigs in the bible went and jumped off a cliff when those demons enter them because they rather drown and die than to be possessed by a demon so i'm cringing at that part but the doctor represents so many people who do this all the time this world is set up full of tricks to invite demons into people and that and, and so many do it so, so cavalier like going along and they give access to demons to come in and invade them all the time it was the representation of real life when you go, when you go see a psychic when you curse someone with your own words this gives access to demons into you that you don't even think off the cuff you're just you're just doing something fun or doing something entertaining or you get mad in your feelings but anything not of christ that you do you invite demons in or you can invite demons in and there's there are so many great quotes in the film too the time when the inmate makes the guy gradually see how wicked he is because the doctor is no different than the edward guy that's being taken over by you know legion who is possessing him uh that's why legion is possessing edward because of his sins uh, and sins invite demons in and the more you sin you won't have control any longer it will be a total takeover mind body and soul if you're not released by and through the power of jesus christ but so many great quotes legion told the doctor uh why would i want to hurt you you are my best friend and the whole time i'm watching it i know legion is trying to come off intimidating but the doctor is actually safe in my opinion as i'm watching it he's already safe because legion knows he's already already his like he knows he already has him he's already living a life against god he's antichrist just like legion like legion tries to intimidate him so when he says his true feelings like you're my best friend it was just great acting great writing great concept and hopefully it makes people really think because many are in cahoots with the devil the de the you know demons are 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 really on a high at how at how ignorant most of us are they really don't know that they they many people don't know that they are really in cahoots with with demons and everything that legion reveals to him about his origins and 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 the wise of who he is and the very being and his very being and the objective it was very it was so true demons like their master they hate us and how he conveys it how he conveys how we are even helping 
the demons to go against the number one person they hate the most, which is our creator because of how much he loves us. The take, just hearing the take down, the ruin, the destruction of mankind is what the demons live to do pretty much and feed on. Our ruin in every worst way is their glory. This is absolute truth and people need to understand that. They need to realize that. And watching it, I hope it made people really acknowledge where they stand because there is a side, whether people know it or not, they're on one or the other. And I couldn't watch it directly. At times I had to turn away while still listening because it did not give me pleasure seeing Legion verbally roast this guy because of how lost and ignorant he is. It was it was very it was very sad to watch. It's like being in a courtroom and it's like the atheist against the demon. Sadly, the atheist is up against his own team teammate, just unaware of it, and the demon is just slaughtering him to the quick acknowledgement of the doctor that he is losing his case. So it's 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 like you're just sitting back watching a gradual takedown upon the lost soul who doesn't know the real state he is in with the demon while the demon is having a field day with this guy who's already on his team. You know, um, the demon is, you know, the demon is right in his arguments towards and against the doctor. You know, he's more of truth and in truth than the, eighth, than the atheist doctor in his arguments because the atheist is in deception, living in full sin and deceit, unbeknownst to the atheist who thinks he has a good shot at this, at this guy, this demon, but he's getting creamed. He's not eating up to spiritual part, not even close because he's an unbeliever. And it's brutal to watch because you know the guy can't win, not in conversation, not in, not in anything because Legion owns him like he like he does Edward. So it was a really great film in a way of convicting hearts and making people really examine themselves by watching it. It told a lot of truths and, and would have been worth quadruple the price I had paid for it if I had paid for it when it first came out. Because this is what people need to watch and see. This is truth. And this, hopefully this brought, uh, you know, a lot of people out of the kingdom path of darkness. And, and onto the kingdom of light path, you know. Um, it was, it was, it's a great, it was a, probably one of the best seed planters I didn't really see initially in 2023. 20, and, and all glory to God for it. I hope it did damage to the kingdom of darkness. When, uh, if people went and saw this and was moved and I grew up on horror movies you know Michael Myers was my idol I grew up on the 80s boogeyman but there was one movie from the 70s that topped every horror movie to me and that movie uh, is called The Omen because it is a movie that was real is real gonna be real it, it's it's a never-ending longevity to its horror because it's based on real events set to occur and watching it as a little girl before I could even read the credits I believe you know I grew up going to church I was grew up you know Christian knowing the Bible and what happens at the end of the Bible uh so this really spoke it really that movie spoke volumes to me it really frightened me because the world has yet to meet the Antichrist or son of addiction so it ranged very scary to me the boogeyman is scary but the boogeyman is not real. The son of perdition is not only real, he's getting close to be revealed to himself. Nefarious, this movie, in my opinion, has the same equal horror measure because Legion is real and unfortunately everywhere and billions around us to a less or greater degree already, but in close proximity. We are in the middle of, you know, the spiritual abomination of desolation where many human beings whose temples, their bodies are not Holy Spirit filled. They're not in Christ because we know this nation is officially one nation of, of Satan. We're not even the government has anything to do with God. Therefore, you know, guess what? There are literally the walking dead demons among us walking around us unless they repent and get delivered. And if you don't believe me, just look up and see all the evil things people are doing now more than ever. Then that the media is still constantly calling mental illness when it's nothing but legion in control manifesting in people on a scale we have never seen before. And the last thing I will bring up is how, you know, tr transparently good the film is too, because I felt pity and sorrow seeing how Edward, the inmate who had been taken over in complete torment and bondage under the legion demon, that, that, that hit close because I see that Molly and, and people already close to me. I was once in this state of, you know, being in bondage myself. Um, so I, I, I felt empathy towards uh, Edward uh, with with just, just wishing like 
he had, you know, he <laughs> he could have another chance, a better chance, you know. Uh, and and if you have empathy towards, you know, Edward with a merciful heart uh, towards it too, you you know, and I, and I did because you know I also looked at Pat, looked at all my past wrong, um, and Father had mercy on me, you know, I, you know I wasn't doomed the way I deserve to be doomed and to have compassion for the person themselves who are lost uh are due they're lost due to how uh the decisions and choices they made that led them into a spiritual state of demonic torment uh like Edward is in being under complete demonic control and possession it, you know as far as transparency the character of the warden for example, represents to me many who don't have that capacity, whose hearts are probably hardened towards bad people who do bad things. And the remedy of let them get what they deserve is the solution without compassion. The will for justice and just killing him so he does not do any more harm is the way to look at it. Uh, and many are like that, right? Like there are people who have horrible parents who, who have wronged them and now they're old and in need but the but the children still feel feel wrong and they won't move an inch to help their parents hoping they die slow death uh i have literally talked to many people like this who feel this way because they expected better from their parents but didn't get better so hate and unforget unforgiveness cradles them at night there's no capacity to give a benefit of the doubt they don't care that their parents might possibly could have been wronged as children themselves and grew up to raise their own kids the, the same way they were raised they see it as their parents should have been perfect in, or, or this certain way when they didn't and and they wasn't that the, the way they wanted them to be in their mind. So their parents deserve this and that and, and no, they won't forgive them and they can go to hell. So it's, it's very much like the character of the warden with people where they see just the wrong. But we know Father knows our heart and everything else. And if we are like him, we check for that too because we have him in us to do that. If you don't, then you won't. And I just love how this movie that represents real life and real people who are not in Christ uh, give a, a full transparency to that to hopefully prick many hearts towards Christ to come from out of the clusters of their own demons that are invited in invited in if you are choosing to hang on to hate and unforgiveness and stuff like that and especially if you are in a position where your heart is hardened towards things and people that invites demons in as well so i had pity uh in that regard and uh i had pity in regard to edward in in his state and it made me it made me think a beautiful thought which was in that moment of feeling sorrowful for edward played by this this inmate who's possessed by legion it made me uh think that this is probably how father looks at all of us when we have turned bad dumb bad because this compassion isn't all the way human it comes from father so if we understand out of out if we if you understand our compassion that makes us pity people and cry for the loss and and wish and want better for those uh in spite of who they are and what they what they have done then we know a little bit of how father is able to have mercy on us and love us uh and be long suffering with us because watching the movie i wanted edward to have another chance to be free to not be in the state he is in he's severely tormented under this demon and there are people who who see the shenanigans of others and ask lord how do you deal with these people why are you so merciful and long suffering i have been one of those people and what I'm saying to you is that this is how I'm not father. I can't comprehend how much father truly loves us, but to be filled with his spirit and, and love to have compassion for this guy playing a character who is a murderer taken over by a demonic entity. I can tell you, I understand it a little better as to why Jesus loves us so much, why he is so merciful, why he, it breaks his heart when we do wrong, when we have chosen a path that, that has led to our suffering just like the Edward character in the movie I today see how tormented most people around me are how stuck in a position powerless to their demons uh control over them there's no escape unless they want it to acknowledge confess and repent and all that but if they don't do any of that they won't and they can't get free of it they're they're slaves they're demonic masters just like the Edward character and the movie ended 
with the logical deduction of the soul of Edward now in, in hell facing greater torment, but Legion lives on in others, in fact, in billions, doing doing to them the same goal. That's the message. Legion lives on, and hopefully it doesn't live in you. Hopefully that demon hasn't done a book or is starting a book on you like it did in the movie with the doctor. And I didn't, at first, like the ending because I typically like happy endings, but the ending is very good because it stayed true to transparency because even when you take a gun and put it under your chin and utter God help me and pull the trigger three times and the gun shoots not one bullet into you and you are still alive, but even after a year later, you still say you don't know if you believe in Jesus, that is most people today. I have seen the power of God played out right in front of the eyeballs, the carnal eyeballs of man and they still don't believe in Christ. There is there is still doubt. So the movie held true to reality and the transparency of the world we live now within the state of man uh, and how man is, where they simply don't or won't when it comes to Yeshua. It tells the truth in such pure and raw form, but I had to make a video on it because I, I'm just now seeing it and, and it was a really good film. Uh, I'm going to watch it again with the kiddos because they initially wanted to watch it first with me. Uh, but... It's on YouTube for free now. I pray I, I, I pray you guys go watch it and, and, and pray before you watch it. May the power of the Holy Spirit move and convict you closer towards Father where you need to be. May the Holy Spirit does that for all of us. But God bless you guys. Let me know your thoughts, if any, on the film. If you watched it below, shalom.